objective to study about the process of fertilization the fusion of a sperm with an egg is called fertilization during fertilization the nuclei of the sperm and the egg fuse to form a single nucleus This results in the formation of a fertilized egg called zygote. As we know, during sexual reproduction, millions of sperms are released by the male into the female's vagina. Out of those millions of sperms, only a single sperm can fertilize the ova to produce a baby. The rest of the sperms usually die All this process takes place inside the body of the female reproductive system The fertilization which takes place inside the body of the female reproductive system is called internal fertilization Internal fertilization is very common in the animals such as cow, cat, tiger, etc. Fertilization which takes place outside the body of the female is called external fertilization. It is very common in aquatic animals such as fish, starfish, etc. This type of reproduction occurs mostly during spring or rainy seasons. During these seasons, frogs and toads move to ponds and river. When the male and female come together in water, the female animal release eggs into the water, and these eggs are also called a spawn. These eggs are not covered by a shell and they are very delicate. All these eggs are held together by the jelly-like substance which provides protection. The male animal releases sperms over the spawn. These sperms are also called milt. Now these sperms fuse with the eggs and this results in fertilization IVF in vitro fertilization we all might have heard about test tube babies now let us understand how test tube babies are produced in some women the oviducts or fallopian tubes are blocked As we learned that fertilization takes place in fallopian tubes. The women with blocked oviducts will not be able to bear babies. This is because sperms cannot reach the egg for fertilization. In this case, doctors collect freshly released egg and sperms and keep them together for a few hours for IVF. In case fertilization occurs, the zygote is allowed to develop for about a week and then it is placed in the mother's uterus. Thus, complete development takes place in the mother's uterus. And the baby is born like any other baby. Babies born through IVF technique are called test tube babies. The fusion of a sperm with an egg is called fertilization. The fertilization which takes place inside the body of the female reproductive system is called internal fertilization. 
Internal fertilization is very common in the animals such as cow, cat, tiger, etc. Fertilization which takes place outside the body of the female is called external fertilization. It is very common in aquatic animals such as fish, starfish, etc. Babies born through IVF technique are called test tube babies.